Hello, uh, back for my fifth video on Gmail. Today I'm going to be talking with you about uh, another cool feature that Gmail offers. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Gmail. Ah, uh, hey, we're going to ask me to do that. And uh, we're going to log in, Dan Gilbert, 777, password in. I don't know why it's having me do that. That's fine, though. Anyways, so we are at our login screen. And um, what I'm going to be talking to you about today is the Gmail feature called Labels. And Labels are essentially what you could think of as folders on your own computer. They are designed to store emails. Um, you can do this in lots of ways. I'm going to show you very simple ways to do it, though. Uh, and it's one of those other features, much like contacts and groups, that help you stay organized and don't just have a massive inbox full of emails from people you don't know in places you don't know where they are. Uh, and so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly where the labels are. Um, it's right along this top taskbar where a lot of the important features are. So I'm going to go to the labels drop down menu. And as you can see, there's actually already a few here. Those are ones Google creates for you. Um, what I want to do is I want to go to Manage Labels. So I'm going to make, I'm going to change these up a little bit. So I'm going to go to Manage Labels, and we're going to take a minute. And labels are actually in your Settings tab, where you can actually change a lot of different things. But as you can see right now, labels is the highlighted one. So I'm going to scroll down. And the first thing you're going to see are probably some familiar things. You have your inbox, um, you have some sent mail, and if you look from here just to the left over here, you'll notice a lot of these are the same. Well, what's happening right now is if we go over here, there's two options, or actually three, for many of these. You can either show them, hide them, or show if unread. So if we look at Buzz right now, Show. Buzz is showing. If I wanted to get rid of it, I could hide it. And it instantly disappears. Same thing with start, important, any and all of these. Now the show if unread option, well, it will show if there is an unread object in it. I talked about earlier, unread emails are usually bolded. In this case, if there's an unread object or email in it, it'll stay showing. If not, it'll hide itself. So you can do that for some of your base things. You can do it for drafts, your sent mail. Uh, and it really kind of clears up some of the clutter over here and only um, allows you to choose what you want to see, which is very nice. I'm actually going to scroll to the bottom of the page. And here we see the Labels tab. And here we actually see the four labels we saw in that drop-down menu earlier. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to remove all of them. So I'm going to go over to the Remove Label column all the way over to the right. I don't like any of them. So I'm going to delete, 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 and delete. So I have none. But Google allows me to create my own. So I'm going to go over to the Create a Label text box, click in it, and I'm going to create one called first hour. Maybe you're going to save emails from your first hour in here. Type it in, hit create, and it automatically creates it. And much like before, it allows you to show, hide, or show if unread. Currently, show is selected. So if we look all the way up here, first hour is there. If I were to hide it, it disappears. We're going to show it though. And create another label, second hour. The same deal. Now, one other thing I want to note before I leave is the show and message list. Essentially, what that means is that um, when you apply a label to a certain email, which is what I'll show you here in a second, um, when you select show and message to show, it'll show in the actual email which label it is applied to, much like it did in the contact list with which group a contact 
was a part of. So I'm happy with my labels. I'm going to go back up to my inbox. And I'll show you exactly how to apply a label. It's very simple, like most things with Google. Uh, I want to select this first Gmail team email. So we select the check, spot, check box. And uh, I'm going to go over to the labels. I have my two labels. I also have the option to create a new one or manage the current labels. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to get this one first hour. So as you can see, Gmail team selected. And here is the show message label. It is now applied to first hour. What if I wanted to apply um, the second one to a, to a label? I'm going to label it. Or maybe second hour. So now these are all part of a, a certain label um, that will be sorted through. Now, if your inbox starts to get cluttered by massive amounts of emails and you know these apply, another thing you can do is the move to option, which will actually physically move these emails to the specific label. This is why I think you can think of it as a folder. So my Gmail team, second one, second hour, I want to move it to the second hour. It's gone, or so you think. If we glance down here, we look at the second hour one. It's now bolded with a one next to it. I wonder what's in there. Just so happens to be the email you just moved there. We go back to the inbox. We could do the same thing with the first hour. Very simple stuff, once again, allowing you to save important emails. It allows you to label them so you know exactly um, which source they're coming from. It, it really could be a lot of different things. It's really up to you. I'm just trying to show you guys exactly how to do this. And then uh, let your imaginations run wild on what you can use it for. Thank you. Uh, and, you know, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be about.